Hey YouTubers, I'm here to further the body of knowledge about the lab radar chronograph. It's essential for developing loads and instead of using light sensors, um, this is a Doppler radar system. They're made in Canada and uh, they're coming on the market now. Uh, they're expensive, uh, 550 US, something like that, plus the case, plus the stand, which are optional. But I decided to go for the whole thing because it's a functioning system. Sounds pretty straightforward. And then the case has the radar. It's expensive, you might as well look after your gear. Not only the price, but I looked at the YouTube videos, and a lot of them really weren't very uh, complimentary, they're saying it didn't work, and uh, all kinds of messing around. So uh, I thought, and they put me off actually, but I bought one and uh, it turns out that I don't think the people who actually uh, bought them read the manual. You've got to set them up a little bit, you've got to say how it's triggered. It's triggered by the muzzle blast or the noise from the muzzle, triggers the radar. You've got to set up the mass, you've got to set up the units, and you've got to enter the mass. I'm shooting, uh, these are actually uh, developing loads, it's a 32 ACP and uh, I want this to go about 800 feet a second. So I've just put a new load in. The thing about this is uh, SD card. So you can uh, plug in, it dumps everything down to a CSV file so you can go into Excel and you can log it. And it's, it's really simple to use. You just power it on. A bit wibbly wobbly. I'm going to shoot a new series. Yes. Not only when you set it up, you put in the mass. This is a 62 grain uh, bullet, but you put splits in as well. It'll calculate the velocity as it tracks the bullet out. At, I've got it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yards. Um, so you can see the, the decay of velocity. Uh, this doesn't calculate it, but if you put in um, uh, a spreadsheet and you have the altitude and the humidity you can actually uh, calculate the ballistic coefficient. So this is it, I'm just uh, setting it up. Great, you've got to go some to shoot the crony. So let's just uh, arm it. This goes orange. Put the bullet in. Let's see if we can pick these up. Shoot another one. Eight seventy eight. Eight fifty six. Eight sixty nine. We've got another 869 here. So, that's my five shots. If I want to do the splits on this and find out what's going on, I turn it off. Series eight, five shots. And I can look at the, the shots here. So the speed, we've got 859, 856, 878, 908. And that's got the splits of the velocity on here. So that's that's it. That's easy to use. It's easy to set up. And uh, I use this far more than the old uh, sort of shooting crony. And uh, so I'm going to shoot a few more rounds and see if I can get this dialed in. And uh, thanks for watching. I recommend it. It's expensive, but if you can eat the cost, this is far better than the standard crony.